women to know I'm telling the truth on you tonight. Yeah, see, you'd be getting off wrong in your personal homes. That's what you're always talking about. You got to straighten up at home. Not just come to this building and try to act like you're right. You have to straighten up at home. And in verse 23, I'm going to cleanse you. I'm working on your mind now to cleanse your mentality. Why? So that you may be my people and I will be your God. You can't be my people till you clean up. You're my people by birth, but you know, you can't be my people in action until you clean up. Then I'll be your God. Then I'll open your mind up like you can never believe. Ezekiel 36, 25. Read. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean. From what? From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. See, I got to clean you up. You, my people, have been made filthy by our enemy. So I can't drown you in water. I'll just have to sprinkle you with this truth. I'd like to make you swim in this water, too, but I'll have to settle for sprinkling. <laughs> From what? All your you, Why? Because, see, when you sprinkle something, it doesn't wash it all away at once, right? few drops wash a little dirt away here and a little dirt away there. Understand the mystery? Yes, so when you come to me, I don't try to take all your filth from you at once. Some of you have been here for about five years. You thought I was never going to clean you up. I went to clean it up and they went to running. Huh? Yeah, I went to sprinkling clean water boy and they went to flying out of here. So I know to just, just sprinkle, sprinkle you, just get rid of one little piece of filth here and a little piece of filth there. Because my people, when you say no more pork, you know what my people say? What you gonna eat, man? <laughs> my people act like the only thing in the world to eat is pork. I guess so, he has bacon for breakfast. Hmm? Ham sandwich for lunch. Pork skins on the side. <laughs> for uh, that, that little break in between dinner, they have beans with ham hock, shine and bone, pig neck. Little pig belly. Hmm? And for dinner, pork chops. Huh? I mean, man, that's all they had all day. And when you get ready to go to church on Sunday, eat shitlings. Gotta have a little shitlings. Right? Hot sauce and shitlings. <laughs> you know you like shit. Lens with hot sauce and coleslaw and <laughs> sweet potatoes, shit limbs and cornbread. Huh? You know, I know how you get off shit limbs and greens. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Love shit limbs. In your houses, see, in your personal home. Getting down against Yahweh's laws. Stop it the next day. You say, well, I think I'll go out for dinner. You go have pig ears. Pig ears. The next day you have lunch at the local haberdashery pig tails. Next Sunday take a woman out to eat Boston butt. And that's that shank of the pig, you know, that butt they sit on, you know what I mean? Yeah. Saturday night, he got to go get what? 
You know what it was Saturday night? Ribs! Barbecue pig ribs! I mean, when you take a pig from my people, boy, he is destroyed. What am I going to eat, man? <laughs> it's a horror story. You send your kids to school with devil ham. <laughs> they let you know that ham is full of the devil, man. They let you know. Then the next day you send your kids to school with pig brains. They call it sow's meat. You heard of, how many heard of sow's meat? Yeah, pig brains. Then your husband, he run out and he come back with a package. He don't want nobody to know what it is. He tell you the wife, now you cook these in secret for me. See, my nature is a little low. Pig nuts. The kids say, what is that, daddy? These are mountain oysters, boy. <laughs> Some fool told him to help his nature. He called them mountain oysters. It's pig nuts. You are a trip. <laughs> you don't leave the pig nothing. I have a big job to do cleaning you up. You love that filth, huh? The book say you got filth. I got to clean you of your filthiness. Praise Yahweh. Good gracious. Verse 26, 36, 26. A new heart also will I give you. That means a new mind. I have to give you a new mind. And I have to, a new spirit will I put into you. Here it is again. I got to put a new spirit in you. And I will take away your stony heart. See, you've got a heart, that mind is all messed up, just like stone. And uh, after I put, in verse 27, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you shall keep my judgments and do them. See, it's all about you learning how to keep Yahweh's judgments, learning how to do Yahweh's judgments, and keep Yahweh's commandments. Now, all this is strange to you. Because you've never heard this kind of teaching before. You were not reared up on this kind of teaching. You went to church, and the preacher, he was too ignorant to teach you. See, and you see those that come in here with the cross, boy, Yahweh give them hell, doesn't he? The old preacher, you say, oh, ignorant, dumb, young preacher, I told that sucker to his face. You dumb dog nigga. You are a lying hypocrite. I don't pull no punches. You have to, I'll tell you to your face. Praise God, you just a blind, dumb dog, greedy, lying, generation viper, preacher nigga, you ignorant. You going to hell and carrying everybody here. Did you see him? It's too hot in here. They can't stay long. There's nothing he can do about it but tuck his tail and run. Don't you see him tuck up and get? Praise Yahweh. Well, if you love the truth, you love me. I'm going to teach it to you. I don't care who you are. It's not behind your back. See, I get you to your face. I get you mean and rough. Straighten up or get. Praise Yahweh. I'm not looking to preach smooth things. I'm not trying to get no numbers to follow me. I'm going to get what I'm supposed to get. I'm here to get 144,000 men. I'm going to get them. I'm getting them every day. So it's only a matter of time. It's not nearly as long as it was. See, when I first started, it was all the time it took to get them. Now you can take five years or so off that. Take about six years off of that now. So see, it's not as long as it was. <laughs> oh, glory. So don't try to second guess Yahweh. Verse 28, chapter Ezekiel 36, 28. And you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. And you shall be my people. And I will be your God. 
Ezekiel 28, 25. Oh, Yahweh. Read. Said the Lord God Yahweh, when I else have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered, and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen, then shall they dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob. Oh Yahweh. See my job being unfolded to you? Hmm? Here you are being told clearly that when, well when I am in the process of when, when is actively being taken care of now, when is being fulfilled now, when also carries with it not only the process but the completion of the process. In this instance, it's telling you that I will complete my process of gathering you. Don't worry about, am I going to gather you, my people? I am doing that. Now, when I have completed gathering my 144,000 men out of America, that's all I need to rule the world with. I'll rule the whole world with you. With just 144,000, that's all I need. So that's what makes me God when I can take such a small number and rule all the planet. I'm going to rule the whole planet with 144,000 men. And our women are going to rule with us. Because you are, you are our queen, see. Don't worry, you will rule with us. Praise God. But I know that our women are proud to see our men rise up. <laughs> hey, darling. The reason I use so many women now is because the first one you see when you come out the womb is your mother. So you have to have, you have to learn how to have respect for your mother. Yes, God. So I teach you how to have respect for your mother by making you bow to women now. <laughs> See, you never did bow to the woman that had you. She never could control you. <laughs> You've always been a man out of control since you were a kid. Yes, you know you were. <laughs> so only I have the power to make you submit to the woman. So I'm forcing you to submit to your mother. These are your sisters are also your mother. Your wife is your mother. So I force you to submit to your mother. You don't have a choice in the matter. Then you're going to learn how to respect. That teaches you how to respect motherhood. Because we've never learned how to respect our motherhood. Oh, glory. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm doing it right. Then after you learn how to respect your mother, then your mother is teaching you the law of Yahweh. Huh? Teaching you how to become a good son. Knowing she knows that one day you're going to grow up. Because I put it in your genes and chromosomes to grow up. Your mother knows from experience that one day you're going to grow up taller than she is. And she knows you're going to be physically stronger than she is. But your Hebrew mother, she's not worried about the physical strength. She wants to make sure your mental and spiritual strength 
be stronger than hers so she can look up to you with pride and respect and honor you. Oh yes, there's nothing like becoming a man in Yahweh. Then your, your mother wants nothing better than to see you grow up a healthy, well-rounded, smart, productive, creative, inventive, ruling son. Oh, it makes her proud. She can't wait for you brothers to grow up and become the kings and the rulers of the earth. But I'm the only one that can take you so-called black man and cause you to be born again and rear you over again in the right spirit of Yahweh and thereby you become a king and then, you, then you'll turn around and help take care of these beautiful queens. And all your sons and daughters, you'll be proud to do it. There'll be no man running from his responsibility of taking care of his progeny. <laughs> Praise Yahweh. I'm proving to you that you can take care of a few I t by taking care of all of you. I take care of all of you. Nationwide. I take care of all my full-time workers nationwide. Not just at headquarters. I'm feeding all of my full-time workers nationwide. I'm clothing you all nationwide. Feeding you all nationwide. Sheltering you all nationwide. I'm doing that. One of you think you're doing it, I'll move you and show you I'll keep doing it. Glory. So I know our sisters can't wait to see you grow up and become a full man. The king. Praise Yahweh. See, the sisters are tired of hearing you sing this song. You want to know the song they're tired of hearing you sing? They're tired of hearing you sing this. I'm on fire for Yahweh. I'm on fire for Yahweh. They, see, they don't want to hear you sing it no more. They want to see you on fire. They want to see you lit up. See, when you lit up for Yahweh, then you'd be like the ant. You won't need a guide, a ruler, and an overseer to do the work for Yahweh. You'll come in and just do your job. Whatever it is, you'll be, nobody will have to wake you up for prayer. You'll get up early and stay up late for Yahweh. You'll run for Yahweh on your own. You'll be about Yahweh's business on your own. Nobody will have to look at you. You won't steal or take a short circuit. You'll be out there for all for Yahweh. Everything for Yahweh. That's when your fire is on, when you got a fire burning inside. You can't be king until you learn how to rule. And you cannot show forth rulership until you can rule your own spirit. And when you rule your own spirit, you're like an ant. Go watch the ant heal. Nobody's telling the ants what to do. They're already obeying the program Yahweh set forth for them. They do it.
to the, every single individual ant. Praise Yahweh. So here in uh, Ezekiel 28, 25, when I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered, then Yahweh will be sanctified in you. I will be sanctified in you. Where? In the sight of the heathens. I must sanctify you in the sight of the heathens. And then shall you dwell in your own land that I have given to you through your, the servant Jacob. Do you understand the mystery? Yes, sir. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Hallelujah. 